A local mom says that her son has been receiving racist messages and threats for months. I'm Rashi Vaz. And I'm Caroline Collins. Thanks for joining us this evening. Today, that mother is speaking out after she says her complaints to Friendswood ISD went unheard. Fox 26's Natalie He joining us live from Friendswood with this story that you will only see right here on Fox. Natalie. Uh, Caroline and Rashi, that's right. That mom tells us that her son is biracial and has been called some pretty egregious names. She says she finally decided to escalate these complaints when she realized the messages had turned violent. I check my son's phone periodically. It's really sad. Um, I cry this morning. Uh, it's hurtful. Brooke Gary never imagined she'd find the kind of hurtful and racist remarks on her 13-year-old's phone from his fellow classmates. Her son Maddox is biracial and in seventh grade at Friendswood Junior High. They had called him monkey at school um, and made a remark about black jokes, um, about being able to jump, shoot, and steal with basketball. They, they told him to go pick cotton. It was brushed off as like kids being kids. Um, they don't have racism or racist kids at their school. It was just bad jokes, distasteful jokes. When her initial complaints to the school earlier this year went unheard, Brooke says she tried to ignore the racist jokes until she saw the messages had turned violent this past weekend. It used the N-word, like spelled it out with E-R at the end to full expression. Um, they told him, we don't want your drug money. Um, they sent an emoji of a black kid, a little black boy with a gun, the water gun to hit the head with a police um, to the side of it. And I was told this morning that that's not an official threat, which I'm sorry, an emoji, a gun emoji to a little kid's head. I kind of don't take that lightly. On Monday morning, Brooks said she filed a formal complaint with Friendswood ISD police and the NAACP Texas chapter who spoke with the superintendent. The superintendent assured me uh, that the school district would, would do an investigation, handle the list in a timely manner, uh, a reasonable manner, uh, not sweeping this under the rug, not letting this go away. Something has to be done. It's only going to get worse. It's not going to get better. And my son has to continue going to school with these kids. Now, in a statement responding to these allegations, Friendwood IAD said in part, quote, we strive to create a safe and inclusive educational setting where every student feels respected and supported. Instances of racist remarks and bullying contradict our values, and we have zero tolerance for such behavior. And the district also encouraged anyone who witnesses this type of bullying or harassment to actually report those instances to the see something, say something system which is located online. We'll have more details on that on our web story, fox26houston.com. From Friendswick, Natalie He, Fox 26 News.